Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I thought it would be fun to update you on my pregnancy. I'm now halfway through and I know that I search YouTube um, and ask my friends and everything for their pregnancy updates, so I thought it'd be fun. So um, I'm now 20 weeks officially, I'm actually a little bit over, um, and I'm feeling pretty good. This is my seventh pregnancy, so I've been there, done that, um, but each pregnancy is different. So um, this one, as far as symptoms, they're pretty much gone. Now that I'm 20 weeks, I do have more energy. Um, I, I do occasionally still have heartburn, but that's something that I suffer with no matter what. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm occasionally breathless running after children, going upstairs, doing laundry, that kind of thing, but not too bad. So that's been nice. Uh, let's see, as far as um, sleeping, sleeping isn't really happening that well. <laughs> I do have more energy. Um, I'm experiencing something that I've never really experienced in pregnancy before, insomnia, kind of, at least um, it seems that way for me. I'm waking up about four in the morning every morning and then I'm just done. I'm done sleeping. <laughs> I'm up for the day and my brain starts racing and, and that's it. So I'm very productive in the morning. I'm getting a lot done, but then by the time six, sometimes seven hits at night, I'm ready to go to bed. And with six other children at home, it's not really the best thing. So if you have any tips, if you've experienced pregnancy insomnia, let me know in the comments below if, you've, um, if you have any tips for me. Um, let's see, as far as cravings, cravings, I have not too many. Um, I think for me personally, cravings seem to be a symptom that your body's missing something and I eat pretty well. Um, we are gluten-free, we are dairy-free and I minimize sugar, I minimize processed foods as much as possible. So my thinking is that my body is just it has what it needs so i really i'm not craving too much uh the only craving i really have is root beer which <laughs> like i said i don't really eat any processed food and i definitely don't drink soda so having root beer for a craving it's not the best thing so again if you have any tips if you have some natural root beer that you've heard of or i did actually get um root beer extract and i tried to put that in sparkling water and it really didn't do the trick. So let me know if you've come up with anything. Uh, let's see, I had my anatomy ultrasound, that big ultrasound, and that's always reassuring because they check everything out. They check the heart, they check um, everything in the brain, all the organs, the size, everything. So everything looks good, and we are so thankful. Um, it is a girl, which will make our sixth girl in a row. <laughs> My oldest is a boy and then we have six girls. So we are thrilled. We just wanted a healthy baby. I really didn't care boy or girl. Um, so we're thrilled. And her, her size is about 11 ounces and she's about 10 inches, they said, which seems to be average for this stage, which um, that's about the size of a banana. You gotta love those fruit things. So everything looks good and um, we're excited and um, yeah, that, I mean, that's about it. I am feeling movement. I'm not feeling as much movement with this baby as with some of my other pregnancies. I actually assumed that my placenta was in the front, but it's not, it's in the back. So I'm thinking maybe this baby is just a calm baby, which will be nice. Uh, my last baby, is not and has never been a calm baby, so it would be nice <laughs> to have a little change for a little bit. Her heart rate has been about um, the high 140s, low 150s. So I know the old wives' tale is, you know, anything below 140. Um, it's supposed to be a boy, I think it is, and then above 140 is supposed to be a girl. So that is the case for this, but I, actually have another theory according to all my children um, for me when my babies have had the higher heart rates in the womb they end up being the more active children um, whether that's physical or like with my last baby she's um, she's a 
challenge. <laughs> she's definitely physically active, but she's also like mentally active and, and yeah, she's a challenge. So for me, the babies with the lower heart rates have been calmer. So this baby for me is a lower heart rate with about 150. So I'm just, I'm thinking she's going to be a calm baby, which is great. Um, yeah. And I think that's, that's about it. I mean, not really experiencing too much as far as uh, weight gain. I'm about up seven pounds. For me, that's actually not too bad being halfway through. Normally, I gain somewhere around 25, 30 pounds or so. So, um, you know, halfway through at seven pounds, I'm okay with that. If I gain 20 pounds, I'm okay with that. I'd like to keep it around 15 pounds, but I'm really not doing anything different. I'm just being mindful. I know how hard it is to lose weight after these babies. <laughs> and I do have weight to lose anyway. So my doctor's not concerned. I'm not concerned. I'm actually thrilled with it. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I'm feeling good. And if you guys want to see more pregnancy updates, I'm happy to do it. I can do weekly updates. I can do, you know, one every month. I know girls, we like to hear about pregnancies. I know I definitely do. So let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more pregnancy videos, you want to see some updates, um, I'd be happy to do it. Until next time, I will see you soon. Bye.